artillery, every virgin camper's favorite weapon in hell let loose. So much so that Ivan, Tommy, and Jerry had a measuring contest to one-up each other. You either hate it because your teammates are constantly killed by it, or you personally are team killed by it when you finally see an enemy to shoot. Today, I'm going to teach you how to become the enemy's biggest pain in the ass and not your own teams. So take an extra chromosome pill and get ready to learn how to use artillery properly. But first, a word from our sponsor. Water. Put it in your gas to make any car sound like a 90's V8. It helps cure flaky skin, hard stools, and diabetes. Water. Drink it. So first upon entering a game, you will notice that the artillery is at the middle of every map. It's always at the middle garrison. You can tell that there's artillery by these black triangles. Now you may not notice them in some games and that's most likely because it's a offensive map. If you're on the offensive you will not have our artillery. So first go to that spawn. Alright if you got this far good job. You're better than every Call of Duty player ever tries to play this game. So once you get to the artillery there's some important things you need to do. First as you know usual get onto it. So you can do that by holding F I don't know, I mean, the one thing I do like about Hello Loose is it does give you the little control of what to click, so it says F to enter, hold it, etc. So now that we're, we're in the artillery piece, you hold F2, and again, all the instructions are always on the screen, which is bottom right, tells you how to switch. I've already reloaded, but here's the two things you need to know. One, there's two different types of shells you can use, HE and smoke. HE stands for high explosive, this is what most people get killed by primarily. Now, when it comes to using them, you, I'll teach you when in a couple of minutes. But now that we're loaded, we gotta learn how to aim this thing. Open them, open them. So, in the scope, as you can see on the left side, there is the range little scale. And by turning it left, right, again, all the instructions are on. I mean, this is pretty simple. If you don't know how to do this, then you need to lay off on the chromosome fills. Anyway, now again, your best friend is your map. So, go and click M, or whatever your button is designated to, and Peter. So this is a, a map with no one in it, because I cannot try playing with people killing me all the time, and just really bad teammates. So, first thing, let's say we want to fire on train station, okay? What I like to do is I like to ping it, and I can see where it's at. So, I see it's a thousand meters. One thing you need to really know is what a thousand meters is, because that's where most combat is. It's the center of the map. A thousand meters is 764. If you still look on the left, a thousand meters is 764 millimeters. For the convenience of this, I'm just going to place a artillery marker. We know we're at 1,000 meters. Now, see how I stop? I can't turn anymore. I just got to get out as as gunner, go to a low position, and manually turn the whole entire thing. So the little lines for 1,000 meters are right towards it see 1,000 meters. Now we have to look on the left side against 764, so I'm going to move the, the bar um, barrel upwards, get farther. Now keep in mind, if you aim it up, that means it's shooting up towards you. If you're aiming f farther down, and it's going to go farther and hit people from over there. So we're at 600 meters. Keep in mind, the less millimeters, the farther it's going to fire. So 764, we're dialing in that right now. seconds. It takes a while, it's, it's a pain. And we're at 764 millimeters. So that's exactly 1,000 meters. So this mark right here, I'm going to be hitting about this area right here. It's not 2022, you know, drone accuracy. What it gives a pretty good accuracy. So I'm going to use this as an example. Ping right here, 1,036. Actually, I'm going to go a little farther. 1050. So this is 1050 meters. Again, if you look on the left side, that is not designated. It only goes by hundreds. So you have to look at 1000 meters and 1100. Try to figure out what is in between them, which of course is 1050, our target. Where well, we have to look at the millimeters 1000 meters, 764 millimeters, and 1100 is 741. Again, smaller number, farther distance. The difference between those numbers is roughly, I'm not going to count this, so don't you know, blame me. Roughly, when I'm aiming, it's about 20 millimeters. So 60, 40 is about 20, almost. So if I wanted to figure out what 50 is, 
I would take 64, 41, and try to depend what's in the middle. I would say it's about five, uh, 753. So I'm going to dial into 753. And that right there is roughly 1,050 meters. Alright, so that's how you know how to, to shut the fire. The thing that I also got to teach you now is when it comes to knowing where really to aim at. Open there, open there. Using your map, you really got to consider many things. One, where are your teammates at? Okay, let's say, for this scenario, the enemy team is attacking from here and your teammates are coming down here trying to get in. Now this is a very urban area, so these just roads. That's the second thing you want to keep in mind is, is the environment. Again, this is buildings right here. People can't get in here, so don't fire there. These are roads, roads, roads. You gotta keep in mind, your te enemy team is coming from here, so they're gonna be really utilizing this road right here. Really utilizing this area. So if I were in artillery, and we were capturing the point, for example, I'd be firing here, and really here, because that's really where they're gonna be coming from. Because yeah, they're gonna try getting in here, so I'd maybe fire here. Um, yeah, so let's say, the point is being captured by them and our team is completely pushed out, they're over here there's two things you can do one, I would immediately fire artillery right here only in this section right here is one majority of them over here and two, it's not getting insanely close here killing our teammates that's bad and you'll get a ton of kills again, I know artillery seems to be a very offensive but it's a very very good defensive tool the second thing you can do fire smoke right here if you're trying to capture a point that's one of the best times to use it because you can kind of blind the enemy and it gives your teammates some cover where they can push in easier because pushing through smoke is way easier than pushing through bullets that can clearly see you so yeah that's one thing you also need to keep in mind now for another example this is super urban i cannot fire this because it's past 1600 line u.s lines german lines that's 1600 let's say this non-urban area so Let's say our teammates were over here in this trench trying to push here. I would keep an eye on where my teammates are at and see if they if they're stopped here. That means there's clearly something preventing them from crossing this little open area, which is a field type thing. Maybe there's a hedge over here, so they clearly can't get past. Most likely because the enemy team is in this trench right here. So if my team was bogged here, I know I had the safety of firing right here because it's not going to kill them. That's it ranges about this much. So I'd fire on this trench. One, because there's so many people in it and people love to utilize it, so you're going to get a lot of kills. And two, it's because they're so compact together and, you know, again, everyone loves to use it. Another area I'd actually really consider is firing right next to buildings. People love using buildings as either, you know, protection from enemy fire or they like to be inside buildings. So firing maybe like right here behind because enemy teams trying to fire from here, they're going to be behind it. Um, it's a really great spot to fire. You get tons of kills from that. Um, you also need to keep an eye on roads. Where is enemy, again, coming from? If it was coming from ruins, I know they're going to be taking these roads here. Um, where is the su uh, supply routes? It's going to be from here. So, we really got to think about it. Also, keep an eye to garrisons and OPs. If they turn red and no one's there, you're like, well, okay, let's say this right here is a garrison, this top of this cross. If it lights up red, I know they're probably coming from here, so they're probably over here somewhere. If there's no one there, I don't fire. I mean, go ahead and maybe fire. I'll be very lenient. Try to do it on a garrison that's just not really active, or if it's just no one's really there. Um, if it does light up, then maybe I'm like, okay, well, I see people are coming probably from over here. I would fire right here. That's a really good spot. Um, so now I gotta actually show you how to fire, which is very important. So, when it comes to firing, what you want to do is, I tend to like to fire three rounds. So again, we're located right here, about 1,050, that's where I have it, 753, so I'll try to shoot, so you're going to fire. I like to reload, at the same time, I like to look at the map and see, is my team coming in? Is something going on? Are we, are we starting to capture it? Because I don't want to keep firing at it. Uh, are people moving in, around? Because I don't want a team kill. So I'll fire, reload, and I tend to shoot between three to five rounds at one specific target and then change. So this is the third one. I look at my map, be like, okay, I'm going to fire over here because of the baby capturing. And 
I would adjust. 734, right there. Reload, look at the map, see if anyone's moving, just to double check. Always safety. Go to back, fire, reload. Now, one thing about reloading, you watch out, is watch, I'm gonna try to go back to the seat too soon. And yeah, I cannot fire. I have to legit go back and reload. I think they do this to prevent people from slam firing, because that would just be insane. People going pow, pow, pow. That's crazy. So again, I tried my three shots. I'm gonna be able to come from this road. Ping that. 1,060. That's more towards. I want to lean it back a little more. So I can fire farther. Reloading. Because it was 50, I'm just gonna move it about like two degrees. Also, the number one reason why you don't want to fire so many rounds at one spot is one, they might not even be there, and two, you're using a lot of resources. You don't want to run out. Your commander's going to get pissed off at you. Yeah, be very careful about that. So maybe I'll put it right in this fork in a row, 1,080. Now, this is a little farther than 50, so I'm going to have to adjust. 1,080 uh, 1, is closer to 1,100, so I'll have it about 748. Or, yeah, about 48. Okay, I'm firing right here. So I don't like sitting here watching my guy do stuff. I could be again. My eyes is my map, so I'm not gonna sit here and watch my guy reload. I'll be looking around here. Like, okay, I'm just gonna capture that. Maybe give some attention to that. Uh, it really all depends on where your teammates at. If they're just still boggered here, I'm like, okay, they're. The enemy's still there. I'm gonna probably ping it. And when it comes to firing on on point, you gotta be pretty careful. You move forward. Because if they start capturing, your shell's gonna be hitting your own teammates. So be very careful when it comes to that. So I know this video doesn't show me getting kills. Again, I tried recording 15 times, and it's it's been a pain in the butt. But yeah, um, I, I can I get a lot of kills so. If you do these things, you'll be really good at getting kills. Oh,